One of the main criticisms I get for promoting flight-free travel is that getting the train is far too expensive. So hopefully this list can help show that traveling sustainably doesn't have to break the bank. Obviously, I know that affordability means different things depending on who you are, but given that most flights are taken by a relatively small number of people, with those people being at the higher end of the income spectrum, I'm hoping that these prices seem reasonable. Also, to give yourself the best chance of getting the cheapest tickets, make sure you're booking around two to three months in advance, and if the journey includes the Eurostar, then make use of the low fare finder on their website, where you can pick the dates with the cheapest tickets. So the first destination is Amsterdam, famous for its canals, coffee shops, and incredible cycling infrastructure. It's super simple, you just get the Eurostar from London St Pancras straight into the heart of Amsterdam for £79 return. It takes less than four hours on the train, which has a cafe as well as views of windmills, canals, and farmland. You can also get a sail and rail ticket and take the overnight ferry from Harwich, with prices starting at £55 each way. I haven't done this yet, but I plan to in the future. This is especially a good option if you don't live in London, and you can also get overnight ferries from Newcastle and Hull, but these prices do vary a lot. It is definitely possible though to get a return for under £150. The next destination is Dublin in Ireland. Take a direct train from Euston to Holyhead Port in Wales. When I did this journey though, I first took a train to Crewe, then changed to go to Holyhead, and the views from this second train were honestly some of the most beautiful I've experienced on a train. You pass this abandoned ship, which was also known as the Fun Ship because at one point it was a bar and arcade, and the 13th century Conwy Castle. At one point I literally had Welsh beaches to my right and the Snowdonia Mountains to my left. Once you get to Holyhead, you hop on a bus which drives you onto the ferry. This ferry is really cool, it's got loads of different seating areas, a few cafes, an arcade and even a cinema. And when you approach Ireland, you'll be met by stunning views of the Wicklow Mountains, all for £92 return. It's then just a 15 minute bus ride into the city center. Now this one's pretty obvious, it's Paris. Just like Amsterdam, the Eurostar goes direct from London St Pancras and arrives into the center of the capital at Gare du Nord, just two hours and 17 minutes later. Prices also start at 79 pounds return, but this time you get views of the French countryside with forests, low sloping hills, and old stone houses. Next is Zurich in Switzerland. First take the Eurostar to Paris and you can either have lunch here or carry straight onto your next train, but first you need to take either a taxi or the metro to Gare de Lyon, which is where the next train departs from. This is also where the famous Train Bleu restaurant is. It's a luxury brasserie built in 1901 and is now recognized as a historical monument. As you can imagine, it is quite pricey, so when we were there we just opted for a couple of iced teas and waited for our train. The second train takes you onto the center of Zurich, past stunning views of the French countryside and Swiss mountains. It has a really nice cafe and is my favorite kind of train because it's double-decker. It also has all the usual things like plug sockets, lots of storage, Wi-Fi, and toilets. Tickets start from 29 euros each way, so in total this journey costs around 135 pounds return. This one is the cheapest destination to get to and is my favorite city in the UK. It's Edinburgh in Scotland, and to get there, it's just a four and a half hour train from London King's Cross arriving into the centre of Edinburgh. Return tickets for this train, specifically the Lumo train, start at around £30, and it's even lower if you have a rail card. I got this train from Edinburgh to London, and it was lovely. They offer Wi-Fi, a food trolley, and even an app which has movies and TV shows available through it. And the views are amazing. You pass right through the north of England, where you get to see Peterborough Cathedral, the Angel of the North, the Northumberland Coast, and a Victorian viaduct, before making your way through Scotland, right beside the cliffs with the North Sea breaking on the rocks below, and on to Edinburgh. Next up is Bordeaux in the south of France. Just like with Zurich, you take the Eurostar to Paris, then you can either have lunch in Paris, there's lots of nice places near the station, or you can carry straight onto your next train, which departs from a different station, Gare de Montparnasse. This train then only takes two hours to get to Bordeaux, and prices start at 50 euros return. So in total, this journey is about 127 pounds when booked in advance. Then what I usually do is rent an electric car and make my way into the French countryside. Now for my favorite place to holiday in England, Cornwall. And the best way to get there, in my opinion, is by the sleeper train, the Night Riviera. This departs from London Paddington at 11.45 p.m., but boarding starts at 10.30 p.m. You also get the chance to use the lounge, which is on the same platform the train departs from, 
where you'll have access to complimentary snacks and drinks, as well as a shower and toilet. The cabins are really comfortable. You can have two people or one person in them. There's also a bar car, which is quite fun to use if you're traveling in a group. You arrive the next morning in Penzance just before 8am and tickets cost £114 one way. Then what I'd recommend is taking the day train on the way back with prices starting at £36. So it is quite tight but you definitely can do this journey for £150 and again it's cheaper if you have a rail card. The final destination is Milan in Italy, and it's very similar to the journey to Zurich. So you take the Eurostar to Paris, change stations in Paris, have lunch. We had lunch at a lovely place five minutes from the Gare de Lyon, right on one of the prettiest streets in Paris. Then we took the second train all the way from Gare de Lyon through the Alps to Milan. There's a couple of trains which make this journey. The one I'm showing here is the French TGV train, which has a great cafe, but you can also get the Italian run Freccia Rosa, which has a cafe, but it's just not as big. Tickets for either of these trains start at 29 euros each way. So in total, this journey can cost the same as London to Zurich at around 135 pounds return. As well as how far in advance you book, these prices are also dependent on when you travel all except for Dublin, which pretty much stays the same price. I hope this was useful. Any questions, just pop them in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help to enable me to keep making these videos. See you in the next one.